Aloha friends! Welcome back to A Simply Simple Life. I am almost done with my floor today. I'm my other job. I have so much jobs, but let me show you guys what I have been working on and then um, you can understand my frustration. So if you can help me, I'd appreciate it. So let me turn you around. Hello! Hello friends! Aloha! I had to put my hair up because it was driving me nuts. So I am working on my Christmas uh, flyers. And this is what I did. Christmas tree farms. Miss Mary helped me here earlier and then she had to step out. So this was actually her idea. She, so I keep her around for a good reason. So I have my, this is my QR code. So people can just scan it and it goes straight to my website. And then I have QR codes for all the local um farms in my uh, christmas tree farms in my area and then i picked out the ones that um that like you can cut the trees because i think those are like the like the really uh festive ones um because you can always look for christmas trees like around parking lots and such but i wanted um the you cut trees and then like the whole experience like this one was really nice which was the woodland meadow farm so if you're in the seattle area this one is actually really nice because it has um like wedding events um uh things to do um shops and stuff so, yeah like that's what i'm working on today is friday i'm just so ready for the weekend no hula for me tomorrow danica is not danica had her hula yesterday and she's not really wanting to do it because she's she feels like I think she's doing it by herself. Big sisters are not doing it with her. Danielle is in college and Danny is very busy with her volleyball. Um, so maybe I'd hate to take her out of the hula that, uh, the halau that she's in, which is a hula school to put her into mine because unless it was like a, like a final decision. So I'm kind of hoping that she'll stick it through because she, because hubby goes there. I go to a different one. And the only reason I go to a different one is because of uh, scheduling, because I can go on the weekend. I can't go at night. I have my other job, which friends, I finally got part-time bid position awarded because it has to be awarded to you after five years finally get part-time so I can't wait for a new schedule again you bid because based on seniority and um and that but hopefully I can get an evening one from 3 30 to 9 so that I don't have to do it till midnight and then still be able to get at least one weekend off so either Sunday Monday Friday Saturday if I get Saturday Sunday I'd be the happiest girl in the world working five jobs but I don't like to over um what do you call that over wish wishful thinking i'll be happy with a sunday monday or a uh, friday saturday but at least just one weekend so i can spend it with the family and then also with uh with my open houses and and stuff like that because nobody really goes to open houses on the weekday unless it was like maybe a friday afternoon but you guys know i got my other job for that said i am at my Mill Creek office. I still love that little painting, but look at the, it's so cold outside. Oh, look at the trees. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. All the beautiful color and plus the fall weather. So really nice. And then there, people have been taking my candies. But yeah, so I'll be here for another 30 minutes. Friends, we are out and about. We just got, uh, Danny and I got our COVID, COVID shot. No. Danica got hers with uh, dad last no, week. But we are at the Journeys restaurant in one of the casinos up north. See anyone? Let me show. Oh, all right. This is our favorite right here. Fresh Vietnamese spring rolls with shrimp served with peanut sauce. So we're gonna order two of those. Danny wants rainbow. We always get a Journey's East fried rice, and then we're gonna get honey walnut, maybe? I don't know, but Danica wants karag. So, all those, friends. Lots of running around today. We went to the outlet and bought Danny some clothes, Danica shoes, Jonathan clothes, and now we're hungry again. And I did not film it this morning, but we went to the pancake house. Tea? Yeah, it's so cute, look at that. Yeah. 
if you can see on the in the kitchen but I noticed something, there's no handle on this. On the little pika? There's no handles. Ooh, so good too. You should try it. It's just like warm water. It oh. warms up your tummy. Oh. Um, yeah, we went to the pancake house and Wait, can um, we tell all the yeah, she knows. She decided to sleep. I asked her if she wanted to go get breakfast. Fanny doesn't like to be filmed these days. Remember when she loved to be filmed? There's Hannah. Oh, there's the spring roll. Okay, Danica, come sit. Okay, so I got my tea. Look at that, the spring rolls, it's the best. It's the best spring rolls. I've been trying to imitate their sauce, but they said that it has uh, coconut milk. So it's a peanut sauce with coconut milk. Danica, so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. So it's just simple. Look at that, just nothing but um, shrimp, the noodles, and cucumber. But it's so good, and then the sauce just makes it so much better. We, st we started eating already, but there's the fried rice. We were hungry. <laughs> it's like hungry. Honey walnut shrimp, Danny sushi, Danica's karaagi, and the sauce. It's good, she said. Oh, this is our favorite too, the fried rice. There's hubby. Friends, hubby said I should vlog and show you how beautiful the trees are. And it is. Look at that. I can't really see the colors though from the camera. Oh my gosh, we are so full. We are so full. Oh, they're there. There's hubby. But see the pretty colors? Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. All right, we're just waiting on Danny. We gotta go home, nap. We've been out, out and about since 8.30. Had breakfast with Danica at the pancake house, original pancake house. Uh, we used to go to one in California. Got boba. All we did was eat today and stuff our face. Huh? Oh, is this your phone? Mom, should yeah. I uh, should I do it on right? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh yeah, she's gonna dance with that. Dance with us. Okay. those finger movements <gasps> mm -hmm. no, no. baking <laughs> season has started so um, in two days Danny has is it three days what's today Monday oh <laughs> tomorrow Danny has a banquet a volleyball banquet and I am in charge of uh, bringing cookies so I'm making uh, chocolate chip cookies, but also she has some friends over uh, tonight for Halloween. A few friends, like six, while I'm working upstairs and hubby is going to a Halloween party with Danica. So I will be making uh, chocolate chip cookies. So my chocolate chip cookies is fairly a uh, simple recipe. Um, I always uh, triple, I think it's triple my recipe. So I have like a pound of butter in here and then I have brown sugar, and then I pretty much mix, oops, I pretty much uh, kinda mix in my brown sugar with the white sugar, and I'll put a little here. Hold on one second. And then I, okay, I'll do half first. And then I kind of put whatever I want into the chocolate chip cookie. Sometimes I'll put um, M&M's, like baking M&M's for Danica because she likes those. Marshmallow for Danica because she likes those. Uh, walnuts or, or nuts for um, hubby or peanut butter. Um, uh, marshmallows, like 
you can just add whatever to this one. It's just it's just my basic, I think it's a Martha Stewart basic cookie recipe, like a basic chocolate chip cookie recipe. And so I'm just going to cream this together. Okay, I'm going to let that cream together for about a minute or two. And I have some vanilla Ooh, to zoom, and I don't measure. Like I said, I've made this recipe many, many times, so I don't really measure it and I just wig it. It's a very, um, it's not a delicate recipe, so if you don't have enough sugar, which I didn't, I added a little bit of brown sugar. Um, if you don't have, uh, like, you know, more eggs, you can add apple sauce. <laughs> so, it's a very forgiving recipe, which is why I love this recipe. Now we're gonna add in the flour, a salt, a baking soda in here, um, and then put it in here slowly. And then I just add per, so this is three recipes, which is why I know um, to do three. I tried to do four and it overfilled. But um, for each recipe calls for one and a half cups of uh, chocolate chips. So, I'm gonna put one, two, three. One and a half cups, right? One, two, three. Three cups, four, <laughs> four cups, <laughs> all right, of chocolate chips. But I don't usually put that much because then otherwise it'll be too much. So I just do one cup. So one, two, three cups. All right, friends, and here it is. See, three batches and it fits into my medium size uh, stainless steel bowl that I get at Business Costco. Um, I have to go to Danica's school now to volunteer for one of her um, parties that she has for the year, um, Halloween bat party. So I'm just going to keep this in the fridge, which is also my secret to a cookie, is that I keep it into the refrigerator if I'm going to bake it within a few days or put it into the freezer if I'm gonna if I'm not going to bake it right away and then I just take it out and then let it um, stay into the fridge overnight and then bake it the next day so it stays really cold before I put it into the oven all right friends mission failed what mission failed mission failed I told my friends I was supposed to volunteer with Danica yes they needed um, at least a week to process uh, a police report on you <laughs> to make sure that you can volunteer, which is fine, but the teacher should have told us this like a week in advance, not Friday, and today is Monday. But anyways, I bought a lotto ticket, oh. Powerball. So if we win, I'll give you 25%. Who, me? Yes. <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, friends, here is my Halloween tree. Um, everything in here was from the dollar store. Um, yeah, everything in here was from the dollar store, except for my hat. I've had that hat since Jonathan was born. That's from Pottery Barn. It even has my name, just in case I lose it. Okay, but yeah, so there's my little Halloween tree. Um, finishing up cookies and then I'm just gonna make chili for Danny and her friends and friends a bag of chips at the grocery store is five dollars and fifty nine cents I don't usually shop at the grocery store because I I get my stuff at the commissary for the meat and then I get enough for like the whole month um, and then Costco uh, for everything else. The grocery store is just really like last minute things if I don't want to drive the extra uh, 15 minutes if I'm feeling lazy. And so yeah, one bag, friends, one bag was $50, okay? This whole bag. Luckily, the family size, so regular size was $5.59, family size was $4.49. So I, I guess it was on sale. So I'm going to uh, bake cookies and then make a uh, chili. Maybe I can show you guys how I make my chili because it's popular and it's super easy. Comfy, cozy time. So I had to change into my pajamas. Whenever I bake or cook, I need to 
Look at my hot mess. Sorry. Um, I just left it because I thought I was going to volunteer for Danica. But whenever I cook or bake, um, I always put my hair up because, I don't know, I have OCD. And I don't want to... Um, I don't want hair on the food. You know what I mean? But can you guys see me? Let me maybe move you up a bit. All right, friends. So super easy for my chili. This is just um, sausage. So I have uh, one pound of mild, one pound of hot, and then and then super easy for my chili. I have um, I have a lotto ticket. <laughs> I have black beans, diced tomatoes, and then kidney beans, one of those. And then I'll put um, bell pepper, but I only, this is it, two package of this. Um, and then we put sour cream and cheese on top, and then um, good to go. All right, friends, I don't know what's going on with my light, but here are the cookies. It looks better. Oh, that's hot. It looks better than it is on camera. So gooey um, and then it's still cooking into the pan too you just take it out when it's brown around the edges otherwise it'll become um super super dry so we don't want that okay so it's still cooking in there and then i'm making my chili just making it all crumbly then i'll add my bell pepper okay friends so let me show you the cookies so i made it to be a halloween looking cookies which is like is it gold is that how you pronounce it like ugly you know what i mean i think sometimes ugly is beautiful you know it's just i do not sometimes i would say most of the time like because to me i don't know i just like unique things and things that doesn't have to be so perfect sometimes when things are so perfect i feel like it's chaos like it's, it's more pressure anxiety driven but um yeah so they look like they're gold cookies uh oh oh these are my these are for the house this is for the Halloween party that they're going to go to. I have to go to work. This is for Danny's friends. And I just bought those containers over at the dollar store. So I like these um, containers like this because I, I use them for cookies. And then whoever I'm giving them to doesn't need to give me back the Tupperware. They can use it for arts and crafts or they can throw it out because it was just a dollar. And then this is how I do my cookies. So... How I do my cookies, like I told you before, I'm not a bread person. I have just one basic chocolate chip cookie recipe and it's just Martha Stewart. I, I double batch it or triple batch it, however it fits into my mixer and then I'll freeze the rest so, so that I'm not constantly baking and then the kids can just take it out of the uh, freezer or fridge and then bake it on their own. But to make those um, kind of halloween cookies you put a lot of marshmallow because then the marshmallow they melt and expand and then they um they'll create like little um what do you call this gooey things that are like you know spread <laughs> like these <laughs> look at these ones okay i think they're just perfect for halloween and then my chili so chili is nice and done i cook it um in the stove always i don't like to cook raw meat into a crock pot <coughs> And then I transfer it here and then um, it just stays on high for like five minutes or five hours or three hours. Um, I think three hours by the time Danny's friends come over. And that's it, friends. All right, I don't know if you guys have, this is my window outside. There's Danica, but this is my window out and then this is what you see. So I decorated my window with this. Happy so that, Halloween. Happy Halloween. Oh, all right. Thank you, Danica. Such a good girl. All right, friends. I hope you guys enjoyed baking and cooking with me. Want to say uh, mahalo to our friends? Mahalo. Mahalo. Happy Halloween. Have a great day. Have a great day.